Let's press Command Spacebar and Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. And let's go ahead and make sure we are running the correct device. Select Target Drive. And we're going to select the SD256G. There's one image on that that we copied over earlier in a separate video. Let's open this up. And now let's run the speed test. We have a write speed of about 161 megabytes per second, and the read speed seems to be running at right around 330 or so megabytes per second. Looking at whether it'll work, Blackmagic tells us that it'll work for 1080p 25 frames per second, 1080p 60 per second. It will not work for 1080i 60 frames per second. If we look at this chart, we can see that we're running about 140 megabytes per second in write and 331 megabytes for read. And what that allows us to do is ProRes 422HQ, but not at 2160p, 60 frames per second. These green marks indicate what this drive will support. If you're looking at running at the highest qualities, this SD doesn't seem fast enough. However, it's good enough for many applications. So while the packaging says that it will read 400 megabytes per second, its readings coming in about 333, and its writes are coming in right around the 150 to 160 megabytes per second, it's fast enough for most of the things that we might want to do. So this checklist here should help you decide whether this device will work for your application. Thanks for watching.